My name is Stefan Daniel and I'm responsible for the business unit photo at Leica Camera AG in Wetzlar, Germany. My team and me are working on product specifications, product concepts, um, not only for the M camera, but all cameras at Leica, um, listening very carefully to customers, blending it into product concepts and then um, discuss intensively with our R&D department, external vendors and everybody like this to make the next generations of products at Leica. I enjoy most about the Leica Society uh, that it is a meeting with friends every year. If you are somehow into Leica, um, you will find a lot of people thinking the same way, exchanging opinions and chatting about products and lenses and accessories and all that stuff. And that's great fun. And it will enhance also your pleasure and um, your fun about uh, photography and the Leica brand. If we start at the very beginning, Leica means lights camera because it was or it is a product of the company called Ernst Lights um, and the lights camera um, changed somehow the way of uh, photography or re revolutionized the photography. When it came on the market in 1925, uh, it made photography much more mobile, much more agile uh, than uh, with other cameras before. So the photojournalism uh, became very popular thanks to the Leica and the Leica became very popular thanks to the photojournalism. Leica uh, has been and it still is a relatively small company compared to other brands in the photo industry. So Leica had a very hard time to go digital um, because technologies uh, available at that time were uh, just off the shelf and to finance and create and develop uh, dedicated systems was, was not so easy. So um, we almost missed the boat um, for, for digital photography. But uh, with the M8 uh, coming up in, nine, uh, in 2006, uh, we had the first the first turnaround for the company. The M8 laid down the basics, uh, the housing of the camera, the operating concept, uh, and it was the first digital M. Uh, so the M8 uh, helped also to survive the company um, because the camera was catering to an existing customer base, uh, our fellow Leica M customers. The M9 is a special camera. The M9 really um, marks the, the final turnaround of the company into the digital age. Uh, it was presented on September 9, 2009, together with the S2 and the X1 uh, in New York City. Um, and it was quite a nice presentation, streamed online uh, so everybody could see it live. Uh, it was a special moment. What I still remember when I had my M9 then later on uh, around the shoulder and was working the, walking the streets of uh, New York City, um, people said, oh, is that the new M9 you have? And I felt really proud. Yeah, the M9 uh, went full frame, which was the biggest wish at that time for our customers to find again the same angle of view uh, like they were used to have it from from the analog models, um, but there were many other obstacles to overcome uh, and uh, the M9 was just an M with the limitations of an M. Uh, but we wanted to approach a broader target audience, uh, so to be able to use like R lenses to do video um, and to get a more versatile camera. And the result was the M Type 240. Um, and we started working on the Leica SL um, with all those features like 4K video, high resolution EVF, uh, autofocus, uh, very fast camera. 
Um, so we could bring the M system back to the real spirit and the result is the M10. So the M M10 um, is really incorporating all the traditional values of an analog M into a digital body, um, combining it with today's image quality, um, but finding the same touch and feel, um, the manual controls, the ISO way you can set here on the ISO dial. So um, people say, yeah, it feels like a, a real Leica M. So the M10 is the result of um, uh, intensive listening, intensive research with customers, uh, being on a on a one to one basis discussing which what what do they like most and what do they dislike, uh, like the video function. Many people said, uh, I don't shoot videos with an M, so take it off. Yeah, and that's what we did with the M10. Uh, and people seem to really appreciate that. Um, so the, the next generation M, which is still far down the road a bit, um, we also uh, are willing to take uh, all the feedback from customers they experience now with the, with the M10 and try to merge it into the next model. Our, our main goal was to preserve the way of shooting with an M, like it always has been. Looking through a window um, and not looking onto a screen, whether it's a, um, a ground screen or uh, an EVF, electronic viewfinder, but is, is a different way how to use a camera. You see a scenery, uh, and then you look through the window and just frame it. Uh, so the approach of working with an M is totally different from other camera types. Uh, so that, that was our main objective and main driver as well to make this, this photographic tool. Um, and uh, it seems to be that uh, we have achieved it quite well. Many cameras are machines. Um, I would describe a Leica M uh, not as a machine, but as an instrument. You could even say it's, an, it's like a music instrument. It does nothing by itself, uh, but you have to master it. But if you master it, uh, it will reward you by, by outcomes, by, by pictures, and a pleasure of the photographic act uh, that you can't experience with other cameras.